everyone, my name is Arian from seeyousoon.ca and in this video series I'm partnering up with Ontario Southwest Tourism to showcase some of the best small town getaways here in the region. This week I'm taking you to the south shores of Lake St. Clair to the beautiful town of Lakeshore. Located about a 30 minute drive east of Windsor is the town of Lakeshore. Situated along the south shores of Lake St. Clair, this waterfront community is the ideal weekend getaway for outdoor activity enthusiasts. It's the musky fishing capital of Canada, and the lake's shallow depth means it's perfect for summer swimming. There's also a wide selection of outdoor activities to enjoy if you prefer to stay on land, plus a fantastic culinary scene to fuel up between activities. To kick off your weekend in Lakeshore, hit the waters of Lake St. Clair and book a charter fishing experience with Muskie Magnet Charters. The fishing on Lake St. Clair is pretty extraordinary. Uh, the lake's very shallow, it's very clean. At the deepest point besides the shipping channel, it's right around 19 to 21 feet. Uh, because of zebra mussels, you know, 20 years ago, it's really cleaned up the lake. We got a lot of weed beds, we got a lot of bait fish. So the muskie fishing here is, it's a world class. It's one of the best muskie fisheries in the world. We have uh, multiple 50, 50 plus class fish here. And it's, it's not uncommon to uh, take, a, take a crew out on a nice day and hook up to 15, 18, 20 muskie in a six, eight hour period. Well, typically we like to start first thing in the morning at sunrise, because you know what, if uh, it's gonna be a really hot day and the sun's high, uh, the fish uh, typically bite first thing in the morning. Um, you, you, you're gonna experience an excellent day of fishing out on Lake St. Clair with very experienced charter captains. Uh, both Freak and myself, we've been fishing this lake our whole lives. So Lake St. Clair is a little bit different fishing. We're running a lot of planter boards, a lot of different baits. So it, it's different than a lot of other lakes. So a lot of new people that are coming to the lake doing a lot of fishing, it really benefits them uh, just spending the money to, to, to get a one day charter, just to see how we run our rods, see what baits we use, how we stagger our spread. It's really beneficial to those guys. For lunch, head to the Sandbar Waterfront Grill. This popular local spot has been serving up delicious eats for over 25 years. It's accessible by car or by boat and features the largest open air patio on the Canadian side of Lake St. Clair. Perfect for those lake views or watching the boats come and go. The menu focuses on seafood, burgers and wood fired pizzas using ingredients sourced as locally as possible. Highlights include the crab and lobster wonton nachos, fried perch, the fish tacos, and their signature sandbar burger. The Sandbar Waterfront Grill is popular for good reason, so I strongly recommend you make reservations before arriving. All right, well, if fishing isn't your thing, I still recommend that you get out and experience Lake St. Clair. And another way to do that is to go stand up paddle boarding or kayaking. There's a business located right here along Bell River called Sup and Sun, and here you can rent paddle boards as well as kayaks so you can enjoy a day on the lake. If you prefer to stay on solid ground, explore the community of Bell River from two wheels. Bicycle rentals are available at the Bell River Marina, and from here you can cycle along the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail. Along the trail you'll pass through parks, over waterways, and through residential streets. Take a moment to recharge at Sip and Soleil, and end things off with views from the jetty. For accommodations, travel to the community of Comber and stay at the Iron Kettle B&B. The house was built in 1876 by Duncan McAllister, a man of many titles, including postmaster, justice of the peace, and general store owner. The house later served a variety of functions, including a funeral home, a travel agency, an ice cream parlor, and even an arts and crafts store. Today, it's owned and operated by husband and wife, Ben and Jeanette, who spent their wedding night at the house before purchasing and turning it into the Iron Kettle B&B in 2014. The B&B features six private rooms, each with their own ensuite washrooms, common rooms to relax and unwind in, and an outdoor pool to cool off in the summer months. When it comes to dinner, stay at the Iron Kettle B&B and experience some of Chef Ben's incredible cooking. Having trained at Michelin star restaurants across Europe and even using ingredients grown in their garden, 
your dinner won't get any better than this. All right, it's day two here in Lakeshore and I have yet another activity for you to try. If you are a golf lover, you will not wanna miss playing around here at the Rochester Place Golf Club and Resort. This 167 acre property is a weekend destination all unto itself. It features a golf club, campground, an RV park, and a five-star restaurant. The 18-hole par 72 golf course is designed in a parkland style with the layout incorporating a combination of links golfing and an old-fashioned tree-lined golf course. Players of all levels will enjoy a round of golf on the course, considered to have the best putting surfaces in the Windsor area. And due to its location in Ontario Southwest, you can enjoy one of the longest golf seasons in all of Canada. After your round of golf, grab some lunch on site at the Parkside Grill. Take a seat on the large 3,000 square foot patio where you can enjoy a variety of dishes made using locally sourced ingredients. Menu highlights include the chef's salad, roasted cauliflower, the firehouse burger, and the grilled salmon. Next up, head west to the edge of Lakeshore to Wagner Orchards and Estate Winery. It's run by Harold and Janice Wagner, who strive to grow food in the healthiest way possible. In the retail store, you can pick up a bottle of wine, a growler of hard cider, jam, freshly baked pies, soaps, and beeswax candles. They also sell naturally raised beef and pork, and in the fall, you can pick your own apples. Before heading home, enjoy one last meal in town at Casa Mia Ristorante. This Italian restaurant is run by Chef Frank Puccio and has been serving up fresh to order dishes for over 20 years. Notable options include their grilled calamari, the jumbo shells stuffed with ricotta cheese, the veal parmigiana, and of course, tiramisu for dessert. Well, that's all the time that I have here in Lakeshore. As you can see, there's so much to do, especially if you love outdoor activities. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.